Emerald Eyes, our radio play for today, is based on a story appearing in next Sunday's issue of the American Weekly, the magazine distributed with all Hearst Sunday newspapers from coast to coast. Front page dramas are produced in the studios of the General Broadcasting Company. It is a celebration of Ashore, the Moroccan New Year. High up in the mountains at the fortress castle of the Abbey family, the sheriff, Moulay Ibrahim ben Abi, last of the great line of rich and powerful overlords, is entertaining. His guest is the English newspaper woman, Beatrice King, or as the natives of Morocco call her, the Leila King. In the courtyard, before the household and assembled guests, native musicians are played. But the face of the sheriff, Moulay Ibrahim, is sad. What's the matter, Sheriff Moulay? A thousand pardons. The little king must think me most rude. My mind was elsewhere. I noticed that, C.D. I was thinking of one year ago at this time. Was that celebration of a show more colorful than this? No, but it ended in the sudden and mysterious death of my favorite wife, the Leila Noma. Oh, I'm sorry, C.D. Just a year ago. She was a beautiful creature, Noma. Large, dark eyes, light form. Her black hair as the darkest of night. You say she died suddenly? Yes. The evening had been taken up with great display of entertainment. Noma had enjoyed herself, so that when the exhibition was over, she summoned and complimented each entertainer in turn, especially the lovely dancers of Mita, whom you will see tonight. Oh, indeed. At midnight, Noma was accompanied by her devoted slave, Yaku, to retire to her chamber. Was she feeling perfectly well, Phoebe? Yes. An hour later, her founder, pale and cold as well. Oh, yes, sir. None of the physicians nor white men could account for the cause of her death. Well, that was most strange. Well, no man knows how the end comes for any of us. We live and die inch hour. Uh, you're right, Phoebe. God willing. Poor Phoebe. Oh, well, Yakut. The dancer Zamita wishes to know if you will be pleased to see her dance now. Yes, yes, Yakut. My thoughts have been too sad tonight. Tell Zamita to dance. At once, poor Phoebe. <laughs> Ah, there she is. Dance, my little one, dance. Ah, isn't she graceful? She moves like the evening breezes. Beautiful she is. Oh, she's smiling at you, CD. Yes. Splendid, my little one. Splendid. She is young and languorous. I don't wonder the Leila Noma complimented her. I've never seen such dancing. She is perfection. When I see the meter, all other thoughts pass from me. I ask Phoebe's pardon, but... Could it be that you've fallen in love again? I wonder. The Leila King wishes to see you, mister. Answer! The Leila King is bidden to enter. Oh, thank you. Uh, Zanita's most gracious in her hospitality. The white Rumiya is welcome to Zanita's part of the aisle. A white foreigners aren't usually so welcome in Morocco. Mm. Any house guest of Sherif Mullah Ibrahim Ben Abi is the guest of the new Lela to be. Thank you. And may I offer my congratulations? As wife to the Sherif Mullah, well, you'll be an important figure in Morocco. Hmm. And if I am not, it will not be my fault. I will not be like the other Lela. I didn't know the Lela Noma. Oh, that is so. She was beautiful and kind. Who spoke to you, Witch of the Hills? I will tell the Rumiya woman here what she was like. She was beautiful, it is true, Lela King, but she was stupid. And she had a tendency to fatten. <laughs> is that such a cardinal sin? I shall never be fat, inshallah. No, I, God willing. The Lela Noma was a woman who wanted nothing and did not look ahead. Well, is that so necessary, Sunita? Mm. Everything is but a means to an end. Look at me. I was only a dancing girl, a burble nobody. But I had ambition. I learned the tricks and arts of my profession. I became a star dancer with a troop of my own. Is that not so? True, Danita. And now I am to become the wife of the greatest of the sheriffs. But <laughs> men are fools. I am not finished yet. But what is there to conquer now? Who knows? You, the Lela King, Rumiya, are a woman, and men have tried to try and conquer you, huh? Yet you do what you want. As far as the world permits, yes. The world. The clever woman makes her own world. And the children, what of them? What children? The children you are going to present to the house of Abbe, who have no heir. <laughs> ah, you may laugh, but childless <laughs> women are of no importance to the house of Abbe. What about your revered mistress, the Lela Noma, who bore no children three years, huh? Get out. Get out, daughter of big, big black baboon. Get out of my sight. Yes, mistress. I go. A curse on that place. She's forever praising her dead mistress in front of me. The Lela Noma. The good one. The revered one. What? 
Well, you mustn't blame the old woman, Sanita. Her ways are not your ways. I am sick unto death of the virtues of the Lela Noma, the beautiful dull woman. As I said before, I didn't know her. But I'm sure she couldn't be more beautiful than you, Sanita. Hmm, a compliment from one woman to another is indeed a compliment. I like you, Rumiya woman. You and I have much in common. You are my only friend in the castle. I want to be your friend, Anita. A close friend. And so you shall be. <gasps> what is it? That music. Do you know what that is? No. It is the signal that Kadur is here. Kadur? The snake charmer. He is the star of them all. Come, I shall take you to watch his performance. <laughs> Everybody's come out to watch, haven't they? Certainly. As they come out to see Damita Dam, so they come out to see Kadur put his pet through the fridge. What now? What? Everyone who believes in our Lord Muhammad and Sisya, Teyapatiya, oh, I now do a ring in the earth with my staff. So, what do you think happens to the man who puts a kern in this ring? The holy Saint Zab puts a ring around him and marks him for his own. Is it not so, Harris? It is, Amin. And what happens to him in the daytime? He is in the hands of all his people too. And in the nighttime? He is in the hands of all his people too. And when at home? He is in the hands of all his people too. And when abroad? He is in the hands of all his people too. And now may our Lord Abdel Kadeah. See with his eyes a man who makes a contribution. With his eyes. May his heart find rest in our Lord Abdel Kedeh. Protect him. Protect him. Here, Kadu. Here is my offering. Many thanks, Arif Abraham. Who wishes to have a good conscience and a clean heart? Oh, ye beloved of Allah. See, take example from this dear one. Ah, many thanks. Many thanks. I will now demonstrate my power over the serpent. See, I take one from this basket. Oh, ah, do not fear, Romia woman. It will not hurt you. You are wrong. Your woman may well be afraid. The fangs of the great serpent mean death. By these olive trees, Kadur, am I not an artist also? <laughs> As one artist to another. I salute you with my emerald eyes. Set. Oh, it's Anita, he's terrible. Look out, he'll bite you. I'm not afraid. <laughs> Do not touch him. This show, it is over. <laughs> and a good show it was, Kadur. Many thanks, Yasidi. Now show Kadur to the gate, Yakut. Come. Allah be with you. It is time my little gazelle Zamita was retiring. Tomorrow's wedding ceremony will require all her energy. Good night, Ibrahim. Good night, Rumiya woman. Good night. Come to me tomorrow in my room after the ceremony, huh? Akum, who is there? It's I, the lady king. Oh, you. Anta, Anta. Yakut. Is your is this robbing and anointing me? Oh, I can't do offer my best wishes and to tell you that everyone's remarking on the beauty and grace and dignity of the Lena Zanita. Ah, the sheep. Did they talk so when first they heard I was to be the sheriff's bride? No. Then I was not good enough for him, huh? Now they are loud in their praises. But here, comb gently, Yaku, you clumsy baboon. That is my hair, not wool you're carving. Give me the comb. Oh, you're radiant tonight, Samita. Why shouldn't she be? It is I who made her so. How dare you speak out of turn, you ugly beetle. What do you know of beauty and how to make one beautiful? I was the devoted slave of the Lella Noma. That one, I guess. She huh? was beautiful beyond compare. And of a gentle and kind disposition. Enough. I am worthy of you and your ranting. Come, give me the key to the jewel's coffer. It has always been my duty to guard the key. I will adorn you. Give me the key and get out. Do you hear, you devil cat? Give me the key. Now, get out. That slave will be the death of me yet. Now, Rumiya, friend of mine, no man of your country could give you such jewels as these. Oh, behold the family treasures. Emeralds. Here, put them on my brow. Oh, they're beautiful, Danny. Look, look. Rubies, diamonds, pearls. And see, this was the favorite jewel of the Lela Noma, with which she never parted. A green gold snake with emerald eyes. 
See how this sparkles? Doesn't this look like one of Kadur's pets? Exactly. This is the luck bringer of the Abbey family. Yakut would never even show it to me, huh? But now it is mine. All these jewels are mine. That is why I poisoned the Lelanoma. Lisa, what are you saying? Oh, it was too easy. A drop of that poison perfume on her hand as she complimented me that night. Oh, Demeter. I know you will not be- betray me, for you are a woman also. Yes, always I've craved you. That is why I've married the Sheriff Mullah Ibrahim. Mistress, Mistress. Well, daughter of a nightmare, what is it? Would he, 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 he prepare you for his arrival? Come in then, devil son. At last, through me, a friend, luck comes my way. The snake with the emerald eye. Yes, the luck of luck. At last, I have it, old witch. See how its green eyes sparkle? One would swear it is alive. Alive? Yes. What's that leather bag tied to your meal sack of a waist for? Your jewels? <laughs> yes, mistress. My jewels. Now, Rumia woman, I shall lie down on my couch and nurse the abbey treasure in my bosom. I better go. No, come here, my friend. See? See how the jewel snake lies on my breast. See his eyes sparkle? As you said, it does look alive. But it is cold, lying here on my breast. Colder than love. <laughs> Look at those emerald eyes. Come in quickly, Layla King. Come in quickly. Oh, what happened, Sidney Sherry? I heard wild cries and came at once. Look. <gasps> Samita. Oh, she's not. Yes, she's dead. No more shall my little gazelle dance with sinuous grace. No more her lovely lips call me by name. This is terrible. What could have happened? I do not know. It was thus I found her. Strange how alive she looks. How beautiful. Beautiful. But her jewel. How curious that the snake with the emerald eyes, the favorite gem of the Leila Noma, should cling to her like that. Like a live thing. Its eyes seem to glitter. To be alive. Alive. Yes. Leila King, help Yakut remove the trinkets and put them away. I can't stay here no longer. There is no beauty left in the world for me. Woe is come upon the house of Abbey. Through me, a woman need not stay. I need no help. I think I'd better stay. Yakut, what could have happened? This neck with the emerald eyes. <laughs> the luck bringer. <laughs> what do you mean, Yakut? <laughs> Look at it closely. Why, it moves. It's alive. Alive, yes. <laughs> Yakut, you! <laughs> Be sure to read the thrilling details of this Arabian Nights dream, which ended in love's madness, furtive violence, and avenging hate, when it appears in next Sunday's issue of the American Weekly, the magazine distributed with all Hearst Sunday newspapers from coast to coast. It will appear under the title, Like an Arabian Nights Adventure. This is Wentworth announcing, and turning the microphone over to your own announcer. <laughs> <laughs> 